Hi, everyone. I'm happy to have you guys here. I'm going to get right into the reading. I just wanted to say really quickly, thank you guys so much for the support. Like, I, I cannot get these videos out there without you guys. Um, and I just want to reiterate that for people that are that are new, that are just coming onto the channel. You know, the YouTube algorithm has, has changed over the last year or so. So it's really hard for tarot readers to get the messages out there. And I know that these energy groups that I channel, they're, they're for a large collective. So when you guys like the videos, if it resonates, if you when you guys comment, even just leaving a heart comment, um, it really helps, you know, me, it helps me get back in the algorithm. So I really appreciate the support. And I love hearing your stories, too. You know, I really appreciate the engagement. It's, you know, the reason I'm here. It's the reason I keep doing this. So thank you guys so much for that. I'm going to get right into the reading. So please remember that... I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so some of these readings will be for you. They will be your storyline, and others might not be. Never try to force a reading to fit. If it's your reading, you're going to know. Like, it's going to resonate. It's going to make sense to you. Uh, what's the message for someone out there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still, I'm still getting over being sick, so I'm, like, pretty much better now, but I'm just nasally, so anyway. <laughs> Submissive. Oh, someone's giving into addiction. This could be, we did do a reading, I think it was about a week ago, where there was someone that had an addiction. I think it was to uppers. And there was a message for that person that, you know, they, they don't, they were going down a very self-destructive path. And there was a message that they don't have to keep going down that path. There is, yeah, there's divine intervention. There's support for them. Their spirit guides are trying to support them. Bear with me, guys. Let me get in more into it. Third party distraction, karmic partner. I hope this isn't saying what I think it's saying. I'm going to need to pull more cards because I'm starting to tap into something here, but I don't like this energy or this energy, male or female. What is this karmic doing? Actually, just tell me more about this story, and then we'll look more into this karmic. Tell me more about this. But I feel like it's... I kind of I kind of feel like it's saying that there's a karmic here that wants to keep someone in this energy. They want to keep them addicted to drugs. They want to keep them in this lifestyle. And there's nothing wrong with going to parties. There's nothing wrong with, like, drinking, um, you know, if, if you can handle it and manage it. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing... No one's saying to just live in a box. Like, you should go out and... I mean, personally, I feel like people should go out and, and have fun and live their lives. But this is almost like this person's an alcoholic and this karmic is, like, encouraging them to drink more because they know that they'll stay insecure. They'll stay at a low vibration if they drink more. Or they have a drug addiction. It's, it's not just the energy of, like, going out and having a drink and dancing and partying and having fun. It's, it's more like a like a partying energy, but like a self-destructive kind of partying energy where they're not going to have fun. They're, they're going there to escape, to run from their problems. They're, they're going there to, um, it's, it's like an addiction. It's the difference between just having, you know, having alcohol here and there and like being an alcoholic or, you know, even, even smoking or, or doing drugs or whatever. It's like one of those people that it's, it's not like they, you know, do mushrooms once every year or so. It, it's one of those situations where it's like someone's like encouraging a drug addiction. I feel like this person's on a very destructive path. Let's see. We have overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, cold, guarded, distrusting. We have betrayal, jealousy, and conflict. I feel like this person... So... What I feel is happening here is I feel like this person is wanting to pull away from this karmic. And I feel like the karmic is plotting here. She re he or she realizes that this person is cold and detached, distant. They don't trust them anymore. And I feel like 
the karmic feels betrayed. The karmic feels jealous. Now, this third party could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. Take it how it resonates. Third party isn't always romantic. It's a very messed up energy, but basically what I'm feeling is that this karmic is enabling them. This karmic is sending them on a self-destructive path or they're they're helping them stay they're wanting them to stay on that self-destructive path I, I feel like they're just pulling this person back in because i feel like this person has been trying to better their life they've been trying to quit this addiction whether it's alcohol drugs gambling sex could be all of the above this person could just have one of those personalities where they just they they need to fill a void you know what i mean like they they need it's like reckless spending habits, um, not not being uh, not taking care of their finances. It's it's that kind of energy, and I feel like this karmic doesn't really have this person's best interest at heart, and they're gonna see it. They're not gonna see it right now because they're they're currently in or they're about to go through this kind of fog where it's it's just like this very self destructive energy. And again, I hope people understand the difference. There's nothing wrong with partying. Like I love, I love going out and dancing and drinking and having fun. Like I'm all about it. But th this is again, this is like different. This is like an alcoholic or like a drug addict that's like being told, oh, it's okay. You can, you know, go ahead and have that drink, even though, you know, you might end up drinking every single day, every morning for the next two weeks or go ahead and do those hard drugs, even though those hard drugs could, could kill you. You know, and it's not like mushrooms or something like that where it's like, you know, it might open your mind a little bit. It's it's more like I would say like cocaine or like meth or, or heroin or something like that. Like it's I, I feel like whatever this drug is, it's like a dangerous drug. And honestly, th this karmic is just trying to keep this person down however they can. They might have even seen, so you might have, this isn't for everybody, but for some of you, you might have even tried to talk some sense into this person. Like, hey, I'm here for you. I support you. Um, I want to help you through this addiction. Like, I want to be there for you. I want to help you better your life. Um, I really, I really care about you. I really just love you. I want, I want the best for you. I want to see you do better. I want to see you quit these addictions. Like, you can have more than what you're used to. Like, you know, like trying to be gentle with this person and, and help them open up. And I feel like the karmic might have twisted that. They might have used that to their advantage and been like, oh, see, she's she wants to mother you or she's boring. She's she's trying to control you. She doesn't want you to have fun with your life. It's not for everyone, but for some of you, I'm feeling like this this karmic is like manipulating it so that you look controlling and you look like you have bad intentions and they the karmic looks like you know looks like they're fun and, and outgoing and that you know the karmic really accepts you for who you are but that that's bullshit because this karmic is enabling this person someone who cares about you is not going to enable you like that if someone really really loves you and they see that you're doing drugs that could kill you or they see that you're drinking every single morning for weeks on end not just having like one or two you know drinking twice a week or something like that but they see you drinking like every single morning for weeks on end and they're like oh yeah it's cool it's all fun and games like it, it's all good that person does not have your best interest at heart that person does not have your back like someone that really loves you is going to call you out on your shit. Someone that really loves you is going to be like, hey, this is killing you. Like, let's figure something else out. I want to help you through this. Like someone that really loves you is going to want to get to the bottom of it with you. But I feel like this karmic cares more about their image and they care more about keeping the relationship. So they're not going to say anything to this person that would... I'm hearing get them fired or or get them like pushed away because I saw like I saw like Britney Spears like when Britney Spears um like when she first like when she shaved her head and she fired all those people like and I'm I'm like I support Britney Spears don't get me wrong but I I, I just saw that for so for some it could be like in like in maybe like a it it could be like a work setting or something like that 
like this person has behaviors that are really killing them and, and someone needs to call them out and no one wants to do it because no one wants to get in trouble. No one wants to, um, it, like, they just don't want to lose this person. This karmic just does not want to lose this person. Sorry, my readings are usually more clear. I don't know why with this energy I'm having, like, a harder time, like, tuning into it. So just bear with me as I get the storyline. But I, I am starting to, to tune in and feel it. But I feel like this karmic, it's like she just doesn't, he or she just does not want to lose this person. She doesn't want to call this person out on their shit and be like, hey, these drugs are killing you or hey, this is what this addiction is killing you or hey, maybe you should stop gambling all the time. Like you want to save up for your future, for for rent, for, you know, your hobbies, for things that are really important because they're afraid that this person is going to be like, well, fuck you. I'm going down this path anyway. They're afraid that this person is going to see them as, you know, they, they, this karmic wants to be fun in this person's eyes. This karmic wants to be fun and exciting. They want to, they don't care if these addictions are killing them as long as they know that these addictions make them happy in the moment. And so this karmic wants to be associated with those addictions. You know what I mean? Like gambling isn't fun, but she knows that this person loves gambling. So she's going to go to, you know, the casino with this person so that he associates her with that fun time. She knows that the the cocaine or the the whatever it is that he's doing, meth, whatever it is, she knows that this is hurting him, but he knows that he feels high and he feels happy when he's in that state. So she's going to try to be around him when he's in that state. And I almost feel like it's I feel like in her own toxic way she's trying to she's trying to prove a, prove a point to him like, "See, I loved you." when this person that wanted you to change wasn't there for you or whatever like she's trying to she's trying to manipulate it she's trying to manipulate it so she can be like see I accept you even when you're gambling I accept you even when you're doing drugs I love you at your lowest points but it's 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 bullshit because you or whoever this other person is I feel like it's probably you that's trying to support this man and trying to say hey this is hurting you I want to help you through it you didn't leave him she's trying to twist it to make it seem like oh you abandoned him like you wouldn't support him you wouldn't love him through these things like you wouldn't love him if you saw the darkest parts of him you wouldn't understand these addictions like she's trying to make him make him feel like you would reject him if you knew this or if you do already know about these things she's trying to make him feel like you just wouldn't support him through it she she's trying to take your words and like manip or your energy and like manipulate it and turn it around into into changing his perception to make it seem like something it's not the reality is though you do love him through this you love him through the 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 drug addiction the gambling the darkest parts of his soul, you love all of it. You genuinely do love this person and support this person, which is why it's like you don't want to lose them. You don't want to, you want them to be their best self. Like you want them to be genuinely happy. You don't want to see them feeling so lost and so sad and using these addictions as a crutch. You know what I mean? It's it's like, but you do love him through all of it. Like it doesn't change your perception of him. You still love him even when he's in those states like you you'll be right there with him like you still support him through it but I mean for some these addictions could be deadly so that's like why you're freaking out because you're like you know I don't want to lose this person you're like I, I you know you're like I, I can't lose you like I, I need you here I need you I want to see you happy I want to see you be the person you want to be I want to see you succeeding in life and we can still go out and party and have fun and drink together and go gambling once in a while. But I don't want to see you like, you know, doing drugs every single day. I don't I don't want to see it to that point where you're not just drinking or, or, or doing whatever to have fun, but you're you're doing it to escape from your life. And I almost feel like for a lot of you, too, you're seeing the deeper issues, too, because you're much more empathetic than this karmic is. So. You know, for some, you might not even see the drinking as an issue or the, the drugs or whatever else. You might see the deeper issues where you can feel his energy and you can feel that he feels very lost, that he feels very self-destructive, that he feels very alone, very confused. And it, it's like you want to be a safe space for him. It's like you want to bring that gentle, loving energy into his life. 
you know, you want to show him that he doesn't have to, to look for love and support in all the wrong places that it, I'm hearing that song. What is that song? Um, it's a, it's like a rock emo song. It, it's, I do it for the love. I do it for the drugs. I do it for the love. I feel at the bottom of the bottle. I'm hearing that song where it's like, I think that's, I think that's what I'm getting to because I, I do feel like both of you guys do party. So that's why I'm like kind of confused. I'm like, well, I don't think you would want him to like stop partying necessarily if that's part of who he is. But I don't think it's that you want him to stop partying. I think it's more that you, again, you don't want him to do drugs that are going to get him killed. You know what I mean? It's like smoke pot and drink, whatever, but don't like do hard drugs that can really fuck you up, you know? Um, and again, I think it's also partially just like the energy you're feeling. Like you can tell how lost and alone he feels and you really want to support him. Um, like you want to get to the root of the problem more. So that, you know, if he if he does decide to do those things, he's doing it for the right reasons, at least he's not doing it. And especially like if someone's in pain, it's like there's that's the difference between getting drunk and having fun and being, you know, a goofy drunk and someone like drinking so much that they're like throwing up and like passed out and you have to call 911 because they're like on the bathroom floor not getting up because they're in that self-destructive phase and they're just not giving a shit about anything anymore. And so I feel like for you, it's like you can, it, it's not that the drinking is a problem. It's, it's more like you can see like you're going to, you, like you don't want this person ending up in the hospital or ending up in jail or whatever else, you know what I mean? Like you, you feel the energy behind what they're doing more so than the addiction itself. Like you feel the, the need to escape, the need to run from their problems. Then the, you feel that they're looking for that love, for that support through these addictions that they're trying to run. And so I feel like you're like worried about them. You're worried about how far I'm hearing that song. Um, I know you love to show off, but I never thought that you would take it this far. What did I know? Um, it's like lights, fashion, lights. I don't know. I don't fucking know what song that is, but I hear that song in my head right now, which is a message. Anyway. I almost feel like, because I know this reading is like all over the place and my energy is like neurotic, but I almost feel like maybe it's me channeling this person's energy where they're, it, it's like that upper energy where they're like, go, 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 go. Like this person doesn't stop. Like they don't let themselves rest. They don't let themselves breathe. They are just trying so hard to distract themselves from all the stuff going on in their mind, all the life changes that they know they need to make, but they don't know how to make them, all the insecurities, the fears, the traumas, like really probably a dark night of the soul this person's going through. And so it's like this person is just trying to run away. They're trying to escape. So... And I feel like that's the difference between you and them, you and this karmic is like if you were at a party with them... It's like you guys would have, you know, two or three drinks or whatever, and you would talk and you would listen to this person vent. You would be there for them. Like you would let them cry to you. You would, you know what I mean? Like you guys ever have those conversations at parties where you guys just like go in the other room and you just have like those deep hour long conversations. Like I feel like you, you and this person would have that at that part at a party. You know what I mean? Like, like, you, you know, you guys would drink and have fun, but then you'd also have like that deep connection and be like, Hey, you like, I'm here for you. This person, this karmic doesn't have the emotional depth to have that. Um, I feel like this karmic is also aware that the drugs and alcohol are, are like overdoing it, overdoing it with drugs or, or whatever it is that this person is addicted to. I feel like this karmic is aware that that's the main reason that this man is even in her life. Because he would see if his perception changed, if he quit doing those things, he would see how toxic and, and leechy I get like a siren kind of energy, like a like a seductress, but like a negative seductress. He wouldn't resonate with her anymore. And, and she knows that. But anyway, like, yeah, so it'd be like a major energy difference, like between you guys being at a party together and like him and her being at a party together where she doesn't give a shit if he's passed out on the bathroom floor. You know what I mean? Like she cares to an extent, like if it gets that far, but she's going to enable him. She's going to be like, yeah, go ahead and, and do, you know, this hard drug. We'll do it together. Or um, 
go ahead and keep drinking and drinking and drinking even though you're about to throw up it's all fun and games like it's that kind of energy that kind of she wants to keep him at a low point so that he doesn't see right through her and leave her she wants to keep him insecure she wants to keep him self-destructive because like you know when you're self-destructive you'll you'll go for negative people because you feel insecure like you feel like you know like i've been there plenty of times too like i've gone through plenty of self-destructive phases you know <clears throat> Uh, it, it's it's like one of those like you know like when you're in a self-destructive phase like sometimes it's like especially if you feel alone you're just you just get in that energy where you're like fuck it I just like want someone here and it, it's like he's in that energy um, and she knows it she's she's smarter than she looks she knows it she knows how to manipulate him she she analyzes a lot So it's like, yeah, it's like when you're in that self-destructive energy, you're like, fuck it. I don't care. Like, I'll just, I'll be with this person who's toxic or I'll let this person talk to me this way. Like, whatever. Like, you stop, you stop, like, believing in life. You stop believing that you can have more. And I feel like this man is in that energy right now. This, this very, like, self-destructive karmic path. And, and yeah, she just enables it so that he sees her as fun and exciting and so that, he doesn't leave her so that he he doesn't move past her but like again someone that loves you is not going to enable you they're going to want the best for you even if the best for you isn't them like someone that really loves you is going to be like i want to see you like happy i want to i don't want to see you like feeling so alone and some being in so much pain like i want to see you like you know having your life be exactly what you want it to be having the world be your oyster like even if you have to leave me behind i'm okay with it um like it hurts it's hard but like i i just want you to like be the man that you want to be you know and this karmic is like all she cares about is herself and her image and just there she's very codependent on him and he's very codependent on her when he's in this self-destructive phase. But when he's not in this energy of, you know, addiction and whatever else, he sees her differently. He sees how fake she is. He sees how toxic and low vibrational she is. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what else do you want to say about this? End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Now I'm hearing that song, Let Go by Fro Fro. Um, God, what are the lyrics? It's been a while since I heard that song. If you like indie music, it's a really good song. It's uh, like, leave all your things behind. They're all going out on without you anyway. Um, excuse me, too busy. You're writing your tragedies when these mishaps that you bubble wrap, when you've no idea what you're like. So let go because there's beauty in the breakdown. It's like the the that raw passion, that emotion that comes with that like breakdown, like just just um, like a complete purging, like an emotional breakdown. And I feel like this is what this man is headed towards. So this karmic that's tried, this could very well be the same karmic in our previous readings. The one that, you know, is giving him a false tarot reading or having or setting him up with like a phony psychic so that he's misled. The same one that was, you know, gossiping about you with him. All of that. Like this could very well be the same person for some of you. She's not going to get away with this, like no matter what she tries to do, because she's plotting right now. She's trying to figure out right now. This is her tactic. This is her current tactic right now is I'm going to just keep him in this low energy. I'm going to keep him self-destructive. I'm going to be that fun, exciting friend or family member. I'm going to be I'm going to be the cool aunt. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to be the one that. um It's just really sick. She's really nasty because it's like, I think she kind of knows deep down that you actually do care for him and have his best interest at heart. But but again, it's like she turned it around to make it seem like you're just not 
a fun person or you're more strict or more for some of you, not for all of you, but it's just a really gross energy. Like she really does not have his best interest at heart. She is very, very unstable. So her priority is not being alone. Like she can't stand being alone. Or she can't stand, like, it could be a pride thing, too, where she can't stand being left behind. Like, if someone leaves, she wants it to be her. She doesn't want him to be the one to leave. And she felt him leaving, so she did what she could to pull him back in and to kind of drag him down. She could even be, like, how do I explain this energy? Um... I don't know if she would have a drug dealer go to him, but it's it's almost, it's like a really sick energy I get from her. Like not, I don't know if like pimping out is the right word. It's like, how do I even explain what I'm channeling right now? Like she just wants control of him. It's a really weird, sick, twisted game. this woman's either very shallow like she just hasn't had a lot of life experience or I feel like either that or she was self-destructive in the past and she destroyed herself like she actually like succeeded with self-destruction where she just became a different person and now she wants to drag everyone else down to her level she does not want what's best for this man she does not want to see this man move away from her by any means she doesn't give a shit if it like nearly kills him she she does not want him moving away from her she's this is uh, this is icky energy she could be a psycho for some this is this is gross energy but for others she might not even be psychotic she might again just be kind of like shallow kind of just cares about her image cares about what she wants out of life it's it's all about her very cutesy energy. I'm feeling a different, you know, there's, there's a couple different storylines here for this group. But anyway, what I want to say is I don't feel like she's going to succeed with this because no matter what she does, he's going to see through her. His spirit guides are coming through and they're going to make sure that he sees through her. So she can keep going on with this tactic, with being destructive and keeping him at a low vibration. And what's most likely to happen is at some point, yeah, Breakthrough, listening and understanding new perspective, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. So probably coming back to you and being like, hey, I'm sorry, like, I understand your perspective now. I understand, like, you were actually the one that really had my back and I, I got it twisted. Yeah, he's going to have to have the willpower to do that and not make it a power struggle to, like, really... Beauty, mystery, enchantment, pause, reflection, rest. Yeah, they're going to like meditate on this and kind of realize that their happiness is with you, their warmth, their light. It's like they're going to realize that you are this angel in their life that was supporting them all along. For some, it's almost like you had to pull back your energy because we got the energy of like power struggle, chaser, chasey, and then there was like beauty, mystery, enchantment. So for some of you, it's almost like you had to support this person, but from the side, like maybe you're doing like healing spells on them to like help them break these addictions or your, um, like you're letting them know like that you're there for them, that they can call you when, when you want, but you're not like neurotically like bothering them about it every day. You know what I mean? Like you're there, your energy, your presence is felt in their life. Like you're their safe space, even if you're not physically together, like energetically, telepathically and in the higher, le in the higher realms, it's like you're really supporting this person. And that could be what they needed to like recognize this like recognize oh like she wasn't trying to mother me or control me or she wasn't just being no fun like she actually really just cared about me and wanted to help me with this and wanted to like genuinely love me for the right reasons but um anyway sorry what I was saying about the karmic is I feel like no matter what they do they're gonna get caught up because there are spirit guides here and we've gotten this in previous readings too like 
they they're trying to find loopholes in the physical world and it's not going to work. It's it doesn't matter what they can be the most intelligent person on the planet. But if you have a lot of spirit guides that are against you, like you have gods and goddesses and angels and other types of spe- of spirits that are not having your shit, you're not going to get very far. It, it doesn't matter how intelligent you are, how much of a mastermind you are, how shallow you are, how, how willing you are to manipulate people. It does not matter if you have spirit guides around that are like, no, you're not going to get away with that shit. This woman's going to lose a lot. Like, I just feel like this woman that's manipulating him, like she's got some bad karma and she's building up that bad karma. She is making it a lot worse. There are spirit guides that are very protective of this man. They see that he has a higher calling. They see that he has empathy deep down, that he has more emotional depth than he even realize, realizes and that he can do more in the world. That he there's just there's more that's meant for him. So her going out of her way to get him off his path and keep him at this low vibration, it's 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 pissing these spirit guides off. I almost feel because I feel like right now it's like her and him at this low vibration, and he's he keeps trying to rise and she keeps like pulling him back down, pulling him back down. I feel like what's gonna happen is the spirit guides is gonna, are gonna come and just pull him right out of that. She's not going to be able to reach up and get him. He's going to be way up here and she's going to be down here all alone. And I feel like her bad karma, like she's going to get dragged down further. Like she's going to be fucked and she's going to deserve it. It's going to be whatever her intentions were for other people, for you, for him. Um, it's going to come back on her. So I wouldn't even feel sorry for this woman. It's like, it's her own energy. It's her own bad energy coming back on her. But she's, it's like, she's playing this chess game and she thinks it's kind of, you know, her versus you or her versus you and him or whatever, but it's actually her versus his spirit guides and your spirit guides. And you guys both have a lot of very high vibrational, powerful spirit guides, if she knew what she was actually up against, what she was actually what she was actually fighting, what she was actually doing, she would run. She would be terrified. She would not even want to go near this man. She'd be like, fuck it, never mind, have him. I don't care. Like I'm going like she would leave the fucking country. Like she would not. If she knew what she was actually dealing with. Um they're letting, they're almost, I don't want to say the spirit guards are like playing dumb, but they're almost just kind of watching her and being like, okay, let's see what you do next. Like, okay. Like they're, I almost feel like they're laughing at her because she's so cocky and she thinks that she's outsmarting them when she's not. So they're kind of giving her a chance right now to like, either it's like either retreat or, you know, get fucked up in this battle either way. But she's being heavily watched by her spirit guides. And that's the thing. It's like energy. Like you can't fake it with spirit guides. They know. They know your intentions. They know your heart. You know what I mean? It's like she can't send a manipulative text message and have them not feel that energy and see that energy. Like they know everything. There is no hiding from from these spirit guides or from the divine, from God or whatever you want to, you know, there's different energies up there, but whatever you want to call it, there's no hiding from them. So, so yeah, she is under heavy observation right now is what I'm feeling. Um, Whatever tactic she tries to use, she might even get frustrated to the point where she has to give up, where she's just like broken down because whatever tactic she tries to use is going to come back on her, her spirit, like his spirit guides and your spirit guides are going to use this against her. So whatever she does, it's going to be used in the end to just make her look like to, to show her true colors. Basically, she's going to look really bad in the end. And anyone that supports her is going to go down with her and look bad with her, honestly. Um, So for example, like, let's say that she keeps, like, does her best to keep him on this path of um, self-destruction, of, you know, addictions, whatever else. I feel like it's actually going to be the thing that ends up setting him free from these addictions, 
because he's going to get to that rock bottom point. He's going to, and he could end up having something happen like jail or the hospital or whatever, something really big. Um, or if, if not that, I feel like it's at the very least like having those nights where it's like he just overdoes it with the gambling. Like he loses all his rent money gambling if he's got a gambling addiction. If he's got, if he's like an alcoholic, it's like he drinks every single morning for two weeks straight and he's just like throwing up and sick all the time and he feels like garbage and his apartment is a mess and he just looks around and he's like, fuck, like I don't want to live like this. Um, or if it's like drugs, it's like he just overdoes it and like has like the worst anxiety attack of his life. It's like, it's that kind of energy where his spirit guides and yours are going to use that energy to their advantage in the sense of like helping him break th free from this where it's, it's like, he's gonna, he's gonna hit that rock bottom. And for some, it's like, he might have to go down that path to realize like he, he might be very stubborn and very prideful and he might have to go down that dark path for a while to recognize that he doesn't want this anymore, that he doesn't want this addiction anymore, that he doesn't want this negative toxic person in his life anymore. It's like whatever is going to happen, it's like he's going to go down such a dark, destructive path that he's going to just be so alone and tired and just so sick of his life and so sick of the people around him that he's going to get to that point where it like nauseates him. And he's like, I have to change. I have to make changes. I can't do this anymore. I hate this. I don't like what my life has become. I don't like or I don't like this addiction specifically. Like I like other areas of my life, but I, I feel like the addiction is going to start affecting other areas of his life as well if it's not already you know like it might affect his relationships like his mood how he comes off to people but anyway anyway the, the point is I feel like if he d continues down this path it's like he's going to hit rock bottom but it's ultimately going to be a good thing because it's going to be what's needed for him to make these really big life changes and just recognize like hey I don't want to live like this like I want more it might be what's needed for him to like go through that dark night of the soul and then go through like a spiritual awakening, ending that pattern, that cycle, breakthrough freedom. So he like recognizes like, Hey, I, I, I need a better life. I need to make, I need to change. Like, you know, cause a lot of people will not change until they're forced to, until they have like, until they just cannot stand the person they've become, or they cannot stand the people around them. They can't stand the addiction. They can't stand how they feel every day. A lot of people will like not make those changes until there's like no other option left where they're just like, I cannot do this anymore. Like there's, you know, like the change doesn't seem scary anymore to them because like the alternative is so much worse. So I feel like ultimately as, as chaotic as the energy is, it might lead this man to a breakthrough, to freedom, to being the person he wants to be, to cutting toxic people out, to, to making these really big, important life changes. And, um, But I feel like no matter what she does, even if she tries another tactic, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Like his spirit guides and your spirit guides are making sure that she gets exposed for who she really is. There's no hiding. There's there's no hiding. So it's like she could she could try a different tactic and, and pretend to be nice and pretend to have his best interest at heart. He's going to see through it. That's sooner or later, he's going to see through it. He's going to be like, oh, no, wait a minute. I'm like, wait a second. She doesn't like she's going to slip up or something. I don't know. Like, like he's. She's just going to get exposed and there's no avoiding it at this point. She's dug a hole for herself and she's in too deep now. And she's made again, she's made her karma worse and worse and worse. So at this point, it's like. Her spirit guides are, are, or you no, know, your spirit guides and his are like determined, like they're, they're set on exposing her. They're the ones that have the upper hand by far, but they're just kind of letting things play out. But I mean, it's, it's not whatever path she chooses as it chooses at this point, she still has bad karma to pay for. And she's still getting exposed. This man is going to have the truth no matter what she does, no matter what role she tries to play, whether she tries to play the sweet, innocent role or whether she tries to play the fun, um, you know, role of the enabler or whether she's a bitch to him. It does not matter what role she plays because a manipulator like this does have different roles that they can play. 
that whatever she does, she's going to be exposed no matter what. Um, the truth is going to be exposed is what I'm feeling. And I feel like your energy is supporting this. Like you're supporting him. You're telepathically, telepathically supporting him and, and putting that intention in of him healing, of him, you know, of, of connection, of, of love, of healing, of good energy, you know, of him not being so lost or so alone. So it's like your good energy is really helping him a lot. But, um, yes, it's ultimately up to her. Like she already has bad karma. It's ultimately up to her if she wants to make that bad karma even worse than it already is. So I hope this helped you guys. I want to put this out there. Again, I really appreciate the support. If this resonated with you, please even just leave a, a heart comment or like, the, you know, liking the video, sharing, subscribing. Maybe there's other people that need this message. I just, it really means a lot to me because it's helping me get back in the algorithm, which is really important if I'm going to keep doing these readings. So thank you guys so much for the support.